What if we only had the language of a sign to tell us where we are? Alright, so this definitely looks like Sweden, but it could as well be Finland. I think the dead giveaway that this is Finland is that we have two signs here. One is bigger with something that looks like a Finnish name. And then we have a smaller one that looks like a Swedish name. Look at that. Look, look at that. It was in fact Sweden. Oh, it was Sami. It was Sami. South Sami. It was not Finnish. My Finnish is not very good, so wow. Something learned. Oh, s all right. Okay, so we have a sign here. This is Greek. This is Greek, but why is it bilingual? Maybe some kind of border region, maybe? North Macedonia and Bulgaria, they both use the Cyrillic, Cyrillic alphabet. Oh, well, this looks like a mountainy area. I'm not gonna go be too perfect here, so I'm just gonna take something around here. Oh, okay. Interesting. So what do we have here? could be everywhere or anywhere <laughs> I don't want to move around too much because that would feel a bit like cheating to be honest so yeah what could this be what could this be is this Russia do we think this is Russia we have birches here so it's it must be pretty far north like it feels like it would be on the same level as Sweden so I would say somewhere around here. Not too bad. Not too bad. So it was Russia and it was Saransk. Oh, okay. So what do we have here? We have a sign. So this is French. <laughs> Amdwerf. That's looks like German. So I'm guessing this is Luxembourg. This has to be Luxembourg or some kind of bilingual place in France, maybe if that exists, like this might just be France, but some bilingual here. Here's also, this is, this doesn't even have a French name here. If you see under, under something, am Dwerf, am Dorf in, in German. So this is interesting. Esch alset. Luxembourg. So it's, it, it is in fact Luxembourg. So the company is from here, but we were in fact here in Belgium. <laughs> well, fine. F I think I'm allowed to move, move from here because I, I really can't read that. Okay, so this is interesting. We have both the Cyrillic script here and we have the Latin script. This looks like even like uh, different languages. I want to say something like here, Balkan. So because I thought it looked ki kind of Croatian, but then they also have the Cyrillic script. So maybe it's something around here. Okay, not so far off actually, but it was closer to Hungary. All right, so we got 20,000 points. And we were never really that far off. Let's try it again and see where we end up. So this is, I think this has something, this is a Slavic language, I think. And I think this has something to do with Germany. German Italian, German Italian occupation something. Wait, 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 wait. This does not look like a Slavic language anymore. I think this is in fact Romanian. This has to be Romanian. If you look here, it looks kind of nice with a few, not huge mountains, but it's hilly. So um, somewhere around here, maybe. All right, so it was in fact Croatia, but pretty close to Italy here. I thought it looked a bit romance, but I couldn't really read it. Okay, Google, update your camera resolution. <laughs> Another Slavic thing with the Latin script. Okay, so we have water here. Looks wet. <laughs> Got to be Croatian. I don't know. I have no idea. It was. <laughs> Boris. I, I mean, to me, this seems like Croatia again. 
I'm not an expert at, you know, keeping <laughs> the Slavic languages apart. I don't want to go with Croatia again. What did I tell you? We had Croatia three times in a row now. Alright, so this is definitely a multilingual thing. This has to be Switzerland. No doubt about it. And probably also here somewhere where they speak Rumansh. Oh! No! Okay. <laughs> so it was actually South um, Tyrol. How do you say that in English? Südtirol. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Why not? I mean, the names looked interesting and there were so many of them. So I thought maybe we have a few like Rumansh also in there. And this is actually turning out pretty embarrassing, but uh, let's keep going and let's see if we we have uh, we are gonna have some more luck So yeah, this looks like Italian again. Yeah, this is definitely Italian. I feel that there is some kind of C or something close Maybe I'm wrong, but I just get those vibes like this is a this is a, a, a city a small city with a beach maybe here Oh, it was Sardinia. In fact, Sardinia has its own language, which is pretty cool. Sardinian. <laughs> I have no idea what it what it's called in English. All right, so it's called Sardinian or Sard in English. Limba Sarda. So we did a little bit worse this time, but still not too bad. And instantly we landed in Korea, so that's nice. We could just go with Seoul here. So. There we go. It was not, it was Daegu, but Korea. Very nice. Heiltsuk territory, Bella Bella. Th this is in English. I mean, oh, we can't move around here. Too bad. I would have wanted to see another sign. Or uh, maybe it's supposed to be English. Maybe this is Alaska or something. Kind of looks like it, doesn't it? With some indigenous in, in. <laughs> in the. In. Indigenous. Then, then that long thing. So I'm just gonna go for Alaska here, and maybe I'm totally wrong, but you know, whatever. Somewhere, I think it's somewhere around here. Yeah, not it was Canada, but not far off. I take that. I take that. All right, what do we have here? This is uh, Spain, no doubt about it. Yeah, it kind of feels like it has to be. It has to be Catalan, right? So here you have Valencia here, and here's ba Barcelona. Let's just take that. All right, so we were in Alicante. Interesting. So this is Spanish again, but I mean, it could be anywhere, <laughs> anywhere, either in Spain or not in Spain. I have a feeling I'm going to move around a little bit here. So maybe. Yeah. Okay. So it says ES. Uh, okay. Yes. So this is España. Definitely España. I cheated a little bit. I got some more information, but we're gonna go. As you can see here, we have like a lot of green. So this is in the middle somewhere. There. <laughs> last country, last country. Okay, so this, oh, I can see, I could just take a guess without saying anything. This is something like Greenland, uh, or something like that, because those very, very far north cities are are always like built with these. It looks like temporary houses. Could also be Svalbard in in, in Norway. So I don't know. Where did we even get a sign? Oh, would you look at that? Interesting, interesting script. What is this? That's interesting. That's super interesting. This is super interesting. Look at the cars. What what are they doing up here? 
and this seems like it's Canada, so I'm guessing it's something near, n like, n Canada, maybe near the coast, but there is some in deep, in deep, in in, <laughs> there's some native language going on here with a very interesting script. I have no idea. Let's look for Canada. And maybe it's something up up here. Do they have do, do they have places to live up here? This looks about right. I, I'm just gonna go in the middle there. Okay, so it was this island. So it was close. It's kind of close to Greenland. But that script. All right, so this has to be it. Canadian Aboriginal syllabics. Wow, this is cool. I learned something today. I've never ever heard about this or seen this script Created by James Evans. Okay. I know what I'm gonna do today. This is also f North I can I can tell this is North uh, And this is <laughs> This is the Faroe Islands for sure it has to be it has to be. I don't get Icelandic vibes, but the language is similar. similar. It was Iceland! I cannot believe it! It was Iceland! Oh, I'm so embarrassed now. But it, look, 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 look. It was like that. The very, 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 very like last point before, before coming to uh, the Faroe Islands. All right, signs. Kranken House. Yeah, Me Merano, Ospedale. This this is South Tyrol again. Südtirol, here somewhere. There we go. Easy, easy. Oh, okay. So this is something Asian. Oh, this is beautiful. This looks like Elvish. This looks like like Quenya or something. I really have no idea. This is super interesting. I, I could look at signs all day. This is so cool. Lots of English loans, like distancing here. We have it's English here. Materials and home improvement. No diacrits, so not Vietnamese. There is this script, which is not like a, a Thai script. It's also not Indian, but this doesn't look like India. This looks like the area around Thailand and Vietnam um, They don't use any Chinese characters they used Latin script <laughs> Look at this guy sees the Google car. Isn't this a script? So it's Myanmar Okay, let's just go for here <laughs> Oh my god, it was totally off. We were on Bali. I just said it's not Malaysian or Indonesian. <laughs> but honestly though, I thought that script looked like this. So, and they, as far as I know, you don't write like Bahasa with, with, uh, with that script or if there isn't another language present on Bali, which in which case you would do that. All right. Embarrassing. Okay, so this I guess this is some kind of like this is the UK or or so. This is some kind of, you know, you know, Celtic, but nothing else. Oh, Belfast. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. So I guess that was Irish. This is a Dansk. Yeah, but it doesn't really help me much to like, I can't see where we are. I said I, I, I wasn't gonna move around, but I kind of want to see outside what it looks like. And I have a feeling, I have a feeling. I'm probably gonna be wrong, but I have a feeling it's around the coast. I mean, <laughs> basically everything in Denmark is around the coast, but not. I have a feeling it's like not here. I don't know, man. I'm just gonna go for there. Ooh, was 
Cenobot. Cenobot. Wow, this was super cool. We learned so much today. I could do this all day because it's super interesting to look at science, trying to guess the language, and we learned a lot of things uh, along the way. So that's very cool. If you want to see more like this, please give this video a like and comment and all that and tell me if this is something you want to see again. And uh, we will see each other in the next video. Okay, take care. Bye.